welcome back to the channel. I am the Fitted Insider. Once again, got another hat reveal for you guys. Another unboxing, another hat reveal. Again, coming from Pro Image Sports. Again, Pro Image Sports in Woodbridge, New Jersey. The Pro Images there along the East Coast are all kind of a family company. You know what I mean. You Whatever. They just dropped a little three-piece, three-pack based off of Pokemon. Yes. Fuck yes. Pokemon related hats is still kind of new to the game. There hasn't been too many Pokemon related hats. I don't really know why. I don't understand why. The capabilities and what you're able to do is they're, they're, they're endless. But I got two of these. Two. I got two. Which two did I get? Well, let's find out. image Ooh. pokemon this hits the feels just like the rugrats pack did coming from four u caps it, it works the same way thinking back on it i love the fact that i was able to grow up in the 90s because i think that was a great time and pitiful time to be a child you know we got to see so much awesome stuff as a kid in the 90s and a lot of it is starting to be made slowly into fitted hats much like the Rugrats pack, and then in this case, Pokemon. Just personally saying, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan to this day. I honestly only got into Pokemon for the first generation. After the first generation is when I stopped paying attention. So these OG Pokemon is where it's at. So first up, my favorite from the three easily, easily, is the 50th anniversary Baltimore Orioles. Name that Pokemon. Well, if you don't know, it's Farfetch'd. Now, within the Pokemon universe, nobody cares about Farfetch'd. You know, he's he's kind of more like a pet, more than actual a, a Pokemon that could fight or you can go to battle with, you know what I'm saying? I think it's really cool, and honestly, if you just look at the hook, you look at the colors, oh man, it, it just works out so perfect. This is Farfetch'd. So it is a monotone, kind of like a very light brown, almost kind of like a tan. Then you got the swinging, what do they call it? The swinging bird or the swinging Oriole. I'm not going to lie. Normally, I do not like this logo. I don't like this logo one bit. But com just the fact that it just matches Farfetch to a T. It looks so cool, y'all. You got the 50th anniversary from 54 to 2004. Oriole side patch. Man, the Orioles have some great patches. The 50th of Camden Yards. But this one might be their, their, their best one. This is a great looking patch. Great patch. New era flag in green. Which, once again, that's cool. I don't mind it as long as it's not white. And then we got kind of like a two-tone Batterman with the light brown and then a darker brown with that green outline. And then we got the UV light brown. It's almost, I would say it's almost the same color as the, as the hat itself, but it's just a little, a little lighter. So this is probably more like a a sand or like a light brown either way it's a lighter brown compared to the rest of the hat black sweatband and then made out of polyester made in bangladesh the far-fetched oof look at that that one goes crazy and you guys like villains i had to also get this one this one is this it's 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 too easy it's too easy, it's too simple, it's too clean. 1986 World Series, New York Mets. Name that Pokemon. 
We got Mewtwo. Mewtwo in the house. I still remember seeing the first Pokemon movie in theaters. I think I was like seven, eight, something like that. That was the one where Mewtwo was kind of like the bad guy, the villain. He kind of still held that persona. Anyways, matches Mewtwo to a T. Once again, looks great. You got the Mets. This time, the logo in text with purple and a white outline yeah that met script looks good all monotone hat so all gray or like a light gray we got the purple button easy 1986 world series side patch it's underrated in my opinion just easy simple patches nothing wrong with it then we got a purple new era flag batterman in gray purple and white with i believe a black outline that's either a black outline or it's like a dark purple it's kind of hard to tell and we got that purple uv to make it all go round it's polyester bangladesh so both hats being made in bangladesh and we got the villain we got the mewtwo come on y'all get back to your childhood a little bit this is great that is it, everybody. Comment down below on what you thought about this little mini trio Pokemon pack coming from the East Coast Pro Images. Shout out to Pro Image Sports, WB. There was a third one. As, as you can tell, I did not get the third one. The third one was a Philadelphia Phillies, obviously based on Pikachu. Could be like a Pikachu Raichu crossbreed in a way. And again, it's a really nice hat, but Pikachu is everywhere. You know what I mean? Beyond popular. Everybody knows about Pikachu. So that's why I had to grab, because not everybody knows about Farfetch'd. Come on. Who would actually think about making a hook about Farfetch'd? And the Mewtwo being Mewtwo? Badass villain? Psychic abilities like nobody's business? Had to grab this one as well. But that is it, everybody. Once again, I'm The Fitted Insider. You can find me on Instagram, at Fitted Insider. You can find me on TikTok, at Fitted Insider. You can leave this video a like, comment, and subscribe.